Today we're on the road to hit 200 hives. Hello, I'm Griffey, so I'm going to here. We talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now I've just had a delivery of the first queens of the year. 10 Buckfast Queens. Now I don't like buying more than 10 at a time because doing 10 nukes is quite easy. It's something you can fit in pretty easy in the day and you're not under a huge amount of stress or hassle if it rains. Imagine having 50, 60 queens and it's pouring down with rain and you want to get these queens in and do splits. Doing 10 is manageable, doesn't matter how the weather is. So I've got 10 nukes. All on fresh foundation. When I make splits, especially nukes, I like to do them all with fresh foundation. Give the nukes the best chance to start. Fresh frames, fresh foundation, the bees will do really, really well, especially when you feed them quite heavy after doing the splits. So I'm in the nuke yard here now. There's, I don't know, about 25 nukes here. After what I've moved, we're gonna do another 10, but some of these 10s, they're gonna be used straight away to backfill some of the losses which I've had. Now, these, some of these were gonna be used for that. Uh, I've decided today, uh, funny enough, I wasn't actually planning on doing splits this early. It's the 16th of April, bank all day weekend coming up, but there's no bank all day for me. No one told me I got the day off, so we're working through it. But anyway, we're gonna do splits out of these nukes. So we're going to increase our numbers off the nukes and what I like the reason I like doing that is when you take splits from your main honey production hives then you lose honey crop because you've reduced the size of the bees or the reduced the size of the hives these are not intended for honey these are intended for making more splits making more nukes to sell making more nukes for me to keep as well and uh, by buying in the queens we can be selective so if you wanted to do some welsh black nukes you can buy welsh black queens in if you wanted to do some backfast nukes you can buy some backfast queens in i've got full control of how to do it doesn't matter how what the weather is and by doing that i'm not lowering my honey crop because that is number one reason why i keep bees honey crop is very very important to me that's the, the biggest source of my income when it comes to bees so i don't want to sacrifice that i want to increase my bee numbers I'd like to be around 200 this year. We're probably going to be over 200, but let's aim for 200. We're roughly around 140 mark at the minute. Uh, depending, we haven't been through all the sites yet, putting supers on. This is taking priority today. Uh, but by the time we come to Sunday, I would have been around all the bees, put first supers on everything. And of course, I got to start that whole job again, adding more supers on, because one is not enough. It's just all that I could carry at the time. So some of these bees, some of these are Welsh Blacks, some of these are Buckfast, as you can clearly tell by the gingerness of these bees. They are Buckfast, so we're going to be using, this time of April, we may be using multiple frames or multiple hives to do nukes up. Now I don't like doing nukes like that, normally I'd like to take two or three frames from one hive and do uh, put a queen in there and do a nuke out of one hive but there may not be enough brood on these on this site at the minute uh so on the on the bees especially the double brooders some of them have been moved in as full size hives they will make uh their own nukes out of the of one hive so i'll take three frames of one hive put that in the nuke add a queen then that is pretty much a nuke some of these single six frame boxes three frames may be too much to take out from them if i can take three frames knock them right back i will if not i'll take two or what i what i'll probably do is i'll take one frame from three nukes so three frames in total from three different nukes put them in a nuke box then add the queen now because i've taken three frames from three nukes 
that causes confusion in the hive because the, the smells and the pheromones is all different and then by dropping a queen in there then they can accept that queen pretty easy now i don't recommend beginners uh, doing nukes like that because you really gotta know what disease looks like if you're gonna make lots of nukes like that because say you do it uh, my favorite way one hive makes one nuke if there's disease on that one hive then you've only transferred it into one nuke by taking multiple frames and spreading that through multiple nukes and something's got disease you could spread it through everything so you gotta know what you're doing if you're going to be doing any of that but um, i know for a fact these are disease free and uh, we're going to be making nukes today now I got off on topic there i was going to um, I wasn't actually planning on making nukes uh, in April, but I had a look on uh, BSNEB's website and uh, they had availability, so I thought, why not? Let's get this done pretty uh, soon in the season, hit that 200 mark, maybe by June, July, and uh, we'll be there. So that's enough of me talking, let's get on with it. So here we are, first nuke. Well, I say nuke, this nuke was moved to a full size hive because it was so big last year. Winter on brood and a half. Plenty of bees, so we'll take a full nuke out of this one. We'll take full three frames. So we take three frames out of this. And that one is to make a bit of space. So we're gonna pick three good frames from here without the queen, move them into this box. So we're just gonna make some space. Take this frame out. Oh, full of stores. Now what I might do, since they got so much stores, is I'll probably give that, take four frames out of this nuke, so that the nuke will keep a full frame of stores. Nice bit of brood, bit of stores. That's a honey, not, a, not enough for what I want. Uh, that's a full frame of eggs. That's the queen. Now, even though these buckfast bees are looking like they're massive colonies, it only just started really going the last few weeks. But we are in Wales. Very, very hard to get your bees ready in April, and that's a nice frame of brood. And taking that. Taking that. I'm gonna put that in there. And now we know the queen is back here, we don't have to watch or look at every frame. We can be lots of pollen, lots of seal brood, eggs brood in all stages. We'll take that as well. That's a nice frame of brood. Laid up all this area. Bit of pollen up the top there. Yeah, we'll take that. So that's our three frames of brood. I'm gonna take this frame of stores as well. I'm gonna drop that in there. So that's pretty much the split done. So these brood frames, I'm gonna move down into the middle. Why is that not sitting right? Bit of wax on the bottom. Now this is the, the new Bello hive. So we have done a review video on this hive. Click the link for there to watch that video. Bees come out of winter pretty good, didn't you? And we're adding the empty frames of foundation on in here. Right, next job, we need more, more bees in this hive. So we're gonna shake some bees from these. The dive tool. Full of stores. And then we just 
shake the bees down because we need more bees in this nuke box. More stores. So we take three frames of bees and we're gonna shake them into the brew into this nuke. That's our nuke done. Now what I want to do, I want these bees to be on a single brood. Queen of Sluda on these. We know the queen is in the bottom. That back on top. Lid on. Look at that. We just held traffic up there a bit. Piling in. But I don't need to worry about swarming this weekend. Not at all. So we made a nice strong nuke here now. Gonna put that in place. Queen. Now if you're not sure how to introduce queens into a hive, I've got a few videos on YouTube how to do it different ways of doing it. So we're not going to cut that plastic cap off just yet. We're going to just put it in there, keep it in there for three days. In three days time we're going to come back, cut the plastic bit out, put a bit more fondant in there if needed, drop it back in and don't touch it for the week. That's what we're going to do. So a cocktail stick. Make a bit of room there. And close it back up. And that's it. That is a new. Crush those bees. Job done. Nine more to go. So we've got a double brood on this hive. They haven't gone over, but they have gone into the soup a little bit, so there's plenty of bees in here. They fly in, bringing pollen in. And every time you make splits, always do splits out of healthy, strong hives. Don't split weak ones, if something's not quite making it, don't split them, only split strong, healthy ones. Your nukes will be much, much better, and of course you don't want to be spreading disease at all. So we're going to take two nukes from this hive. Exactly the same process as before, but we're going to do it twice. Not back into one with the super on. Look at all those bees. Lots of pollen. Orange pollen, yellow pollen, no doubt they're working down the line very, very hard, as we can see right there. Yeah, I tell you, these bees are not as advanced as they look. They haven't, that queen has only really started kicking off about two weeks ago. So in Wales, these bees are behind, but I thought that was the case. Um, even though the things are flying really well, a lot of them are older bees, these nukes won't be looking their best for at least another two weeks. But I've got enough nukes here to get these new splits made anyway. So I just split this nuke, this was really strong. Turns out this one, that one, 
Didn't even have a queen in there, totally broodless. So one queen has gone in there, not very hopeful, but there was a lot of bees in there. So it was just too good just to shake out. So since I had the queen, I've put one of the queens in there, so we can only make nine nukes. Let's get on with this one. So that was a nice, nice nuke that was. Much, much better than what we've seen so far. And they had way too much stores, so instead of making three frame splits, I've ended up doing four frame splits. Just taking a frame of stores. So that's it, that's it, we're about halfway. Look at all that colour. Some of these nukes are really strong, some of them are a good two weeks behind. But that's the difference when you're beekeeping in Wales compared to parts of England. We are definitely behind on them. The climate is much colder, the growing season is that little bit shorter. But yeah, things are looking pretty good down on this side of the yard. Yeah, these are strong. Do a split here and all. Nice frame of stores. Take this out. Brood in all stages. Honey. I'm checking the queen's not there. The fresh honey on this one. Huge amount of honey. Half the frame is fresh honey. All this there, fresh honey. Double checking, Queen's not here. And we might as well stick with what we're doing. Because these bunch of nukes I'm in now are really strong. Really strong. We can see there now. All solid brood. So we take this, make a four frame split, knock these nukes back. Honey. Brood eggs, pollen on the outside. Make sure the queen's not on this one as well. One, two, three, four frame split. We shake this frame on top of it. Honey eggs in there.
eggs, honey, brood on this one. Gotta really make sure the queen's not here. There's a strong nuke. These nukes will be super strong in a couple of weeks. Well that's it, 10 splits made and I tell you, a bit disappointed with the nukes at the start going through them but as I was going through them, the majority of these nukes are really really strong, I mean look at this one, I didn't even split that one, that one, I didn't even split that either, I need another 10 more nukes, uh, sorry 10 more queens I think, finish taking the pressure off these nukes. Nothing wanted a swarm. We're not in swarming territory yet. Oh, I tell you, those Welsh black bees. But yeah, Welsh black bees, they're nowhere near ready. Can't take splits off them yet. But the buckfast, certainly, they, most of them were definitely ready. And I've got them. Um, yeah, so nine splits there because one was queenless and uh, the next job now we're not quite finished here yet but I have I have finished for the video set up to all these I'm gonna have a cup of tea first gonna give these set up and some of them I'm gonna move now straight away if you notice I've closed some of the entrances up because I'm gonna move these bees straight away cup of tea and then move them but the rest there are staying in the nuke yard because I haven't finished doing my new nuke yard yet. If you want to see a video of my new nuke yard, click the link there to watch that video. But I've got a, a purpose-built nuke yard that, um, which is going to replace all of this. So there'll be no bees at all here. It'll all be in the proper yard. So that's the plan. Ten queens ordered, ten queens in. Need to order more. The season is well and truly here. Another two or three weeks in Wales, I reckon we're going to be in the deep end big time. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.